Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I hope you are all doing great. My name is Miss Young and I make videos to help you remember the things you already know and to teach you some new things. So today we are going to start with our question of the day and then we're gonna switch screens and guess what guys? We're gonna learn about catch up today. Um, I have a feeling a lot of you out there like ketchup. So we're going to learn how it's made. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to talk about what you learned and we're going to talk about some things that you can do at home. So first of all, our question of the day is what should you do if you meet somebody and then you forget their name? That happens a lot <laughs> uh, for everybody. So what would be the right thing to do? Should you say, hey you, <laughs> when you need to get their attention? Or should you say, oh, I'm sorry. Can you tell me your name again? I forgot. So I am going to give you a little bit of time to think about that, and then we'll talk about your answer. Okay, guys, so you meet somebody, and you need to talk to them, and you forgot their name. What should you do? Should you say... Hey you, hey you, and then tell them what you need. <laughs> no, that's not such a good idea. There's a better choice. Should you say, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Can you tell me your name again? Oh, yes, that's a much better answer. You know what, guys, it is really easy uh, when somebody tells you something to just kind of forget it right away um, that happens to me all the time when, some, when some, somebody tells me their name and I don't know them. I really have to try hard to remember it. But if I don't remember it, then I just have to say, I'm sorry, what was your name again? And they would be happy to, to tell me uh, their name again. So don't worry. Don't feel scared. Don't think like they're going to be mad if you ask them again for their name. Or don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm such... And I can't believe it. Don't feel hard on yourself uh, for forgetting because everybody forgets. It's okay. Um, all you have to do is just ask for their name again. But don't, don't say, hey, you, or hey, what's your name? Because <laughs> that's not very nice. Okay, guys? All right. So today, I know that many of you like to put ketchup on hamburgers, hot dogs, eggs, french fries, uh, what else? People like to put hot dogs, uh, I mean people like to put ketchup on a lot of different things. So I thought it would be fun today to learn how something is made. We have so many things in our world that we just get from the store or buy or you know and it's just there. But how does it get there? How does it get made? So today we're going to talk about how ketchup is made. Um, yeah, so you ready? All right, let's go. Henry John Heinz is the man who invented Heinz ketchup a long, long time ago. When he was little, his mother had a vegetable garden. He began selling their extra vegetables door to door, and soon he had his own land to grow and sell more vegetables. When he was older, he started a business and sold horseradish, pickles, sauerkraut, and vinegar. Many years later, he started a new business and started selling ketchup. He used his mother's recipe of fresh tomatoes, sugar, vinegar, and a special mix of spices. It became very popular, and people still buy Heinz ketchup to this day. 
Let's take a look at how it's made. Okay, guys, so I hope you lear enjoyed learning all about ketchup. So, let's review for a minute. Um, remember that an inventor is someone who thinks of a, up an idea for a new way of doing something or a new product, and they do experiments, and then they put together the idea or the product, and they make it. So. A man named John Hines is the man who invented, well, first started bottling up ketchup. And that's why we see his name, Heinz, on the ketchup bottle. Because it's named after the man who came up with the idea. And um, we learned that the farmers grow the tomatoes in the big fields and then they have those big giant machines that come through and and harvest the tomatoes which means get the tomatoes from the ground into the with the machines into the big containers and then those containers go to a factory and at the factory the tomatoes are smushed up and then people pick out the bits that aren't good and then all of the good smushed tomatoes are made into even smoother a smoother consistency or smoother texture not lumpy and then they add whatever they add to it sometimes sugar sometimes uh, sometimes a little vinegar depends on what ingredients are in the ketchup that you buy and then they put it in a bottle and then it goes on a conveyor belt 
and it gets packed up into different boxes and then those boxes get shipped to the grocery store and then you and I can go to the grocery store and get whatever kind of ketchup we want. So that is how ketchup is made. Very interesting. So let's talk about some things that you can do at home. The first thing that you can do at home is you can draw pictures or write a sentence or two about all the food that you like to put ketchup on. We said at the beginning, most people like to put ketchup on their hamburgers, on their hot dogs, on their french fries, sometimes eggs, sometimes tacos, lots of different things. So if you decide to write a sentence, Remember that the beginning of a sentence starts with a capital letter and the end of a sentence has a punctuation mark, usually a period. If you want to write more than one sentence, that's called a paragraph and you're welcome to do that. The next thing you can do is you could draw a picture of something that you would like to invent. If you have this great idea and something that nobody else has come up with before, what would it be? Think about that. And you can draw a picture of it. Draw a picture of what it would look like. And then the third thing you can do at home is you can, if you have a place for it and if you have someone to help you, you could grow some tomatoes you would need to get a packet of tomato seeds from the store, a store like Home Depot or Lowe's or a garden center at Walmart, someplace that sells seeds. And then you need to prepare the soil. You could even just put it in a, a big pot. Lots of people have to, tomatoes in a pot. You really don't need to put it in the, right in the ground. And then, um, once your, well, you have to put it in the, have it, have, put the pot where there's plenty of sunshine and then you need to water it. And then once the little tomato seeds start to grow, you need to put a, like a long stick in the pot so that the tomato vine has something to kind of hold on to as it grows and grows and grows. And then, <clears throat> pretty soon, you could have tomatoes from your tomato plant, and that's what they make ketchup out of. So, <clears throat> that would be fun. Okay, guys, so we are about out of time for today. So I hope that you guys have a great day today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.